I'm super excited to share with you the latest addition to our word and number search tool. The ability to create puzzles specifically for the Kindle Scribe with an auto-generated index and links to the solution pages and back for each puzzle. Kindle Scribe downloads are very popular on Etsy. This particular bundle was in over 20 carts when I clicked on it. And by selling bundles such as this one, you can make considerably more per download than by selling a single book on KDP. Before we head over to a book creator to show you how to use this new ability, let me show you a sample book I created on a book creator on my Kindle Scribe. I took the PDF that I downloaded from my Word and Number Search tool on a bookcreator.com and I downloaded it to my Kindle Scribe using the Send to Kindle Scribe function you can find in your Amazon account. I created a cover page, a how to use this ebook page, a, tells you how to use the solution in the index page, a how to solve the puzzles page, and a hint and tips page to put at the beginning of my book. And I'll show you how I added that in when we go to the demo portion of this video. Here is the number search, this number, the first one. And one of the cool things about the Kindle Scribe is that you can write on it. So let's look for the first one, three, two, two, five, one. And it's right here, three, two, two, five, one. And then I can cross it off over here and you can keep going down the list and find them all. And if you got stuck, you can touch solution and it will take you to the solution page for that particular puzzle. You can touch back and it will take you back to the number search puzzle that you were just doing. You can also go to the index and the index shows every single puzzle that is in the book. You can touch any one of the titles and it will take you to that particular puzzle. Go back to the index. If you want, you can check off the puzzles that you have done so you know which ones you have done. And you can just keep going through all the puzzles until you get to the last puzzle. And you check that one off and you finish the book. Now we're inside a book creator and inside the word and number search tool. The new thing that was added is right here. Kindle Scribe. So when you click on Kindle Scribe, it's going to automatically format the book to the proper trim size for Kindle Scribe. It's going to limit you to one puzzle per page and one puzzle per answer page as well. That's going to lead to the best experience for your users. It's going to have the puzzle be the biggest it can be and the answer be the biggest it can be. And that's really important, especially for those of you who are going to be doing large print books, which I recommend because there's a big market for those. Now I have a number search I've already set up my settings for. So I'm going to go ahead and load that and I'm going to do a preview. So this is what it's going to look like when you are doing them for the Kindle select. You'll see the index up here which will be linked to the index page and you'll see solution here, which is linked to the solution page. And on the answer page, you're going to see index, so which will also go back to that index page if you want and a back button that will take you back to whatever puzzle this answer page is for. One of the things I would suggest that you do is use front and back matter pages on that example. I had a cover and some how to pages. And those were all created inside Canva and I downloaded them as ping files and then I uploaded them into my account, which you can do under account files. You just drag and drop them. To add them, I'm going to click add front matter pages and then I'm going to find the ones that I added. So I start with the cover page. I've got five pages I want to add. And then I have a how to use this ebook page, a how to use index page a how to solve the puzzles page and a hints and tips page. So now when it creates the PDF, it's going to add those at the front and all of your hyperlinks are going to be preserved. So if you try to go and edit this file somewhere else, you're most likely going to mess up all the links that make this so valuable to your Kindle Scribe customers. So you don't want to mess up the links by trying to combine different PDFs in with this somewhere else. And then, as usual, all you gotta do, hit the download PDF button, and let's look at our file. You're gonna see that some navigation has been added here. You'll also be able to get 
to access these links inside of the Kindle Scribe. These will be your table of contents and you can just click on them and it'll go to whatever puzzle you have. You'll see that we also have the cover page that we added, the how to use this ebook, how to use the index, how to solve the puzzles, hints and tips, and then our first puzzle. And even inside here, you can check out the links. So the index goes to the right place. You can go back to puzzle number one, go to solutions, go back to puzzle three, go back to index. So this gives you a way to verify whether or not your links are working right. So if you do try to combine them with other PDFs or add things into it and you go back and check it and your links probably won't be working if you try to combine anything into it outside of the tool. So we really recommend that you use the add front matter pages to add in anything you want to add to the beginning and you can also use add back matter pages to add anything you want to the end of your book before you download it. And then you have your PDF all ready to go and upload to places like Etsy where you can sell them to Kindle Scribe users who are just waiting for your content. And of course this functionality also works with word searches as well as it does with the number searches. You just need to add your words. And in this example, I'm going to show you that you can also use different titles and that the different titles that you use are what's going to show up in the index. Let's do a refresh and see how it looks. Then once you get it the way you like it, you can do a download. And here's what the final book looks like. I just left the same front matter pages, but you'd of course want to switch it to be a word search related instead of number related if you're doing front matter page for a word search book. And here we get to our puzzles. You see you can click on index and it will take you to the index and each one of the puzzles in the index have the name of the puzzle in it instead of word search one, word search two, etc. And if you click on the title, just like in the number search example, it will take you back to the puzzle. If you click on solution, it will take you back to the solution for that puzzle. And if you click back, it's going to take you back to that puzzle. And there you have it, an overview of the Kindle Scribe option for our word and number search tool. We plan to add this ability to all of our tools. Leave a comment below with your suggestion for which tool to add this to next. If you have any questions about how to use this tool or suggestions for new features to add to this tool, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Your journey to crafting journals, planners, logbooks, and more starts here. Get going now with a free three-day trial at abookcreator.com.